Welcome back to another episode of Steve's Garage, where we're trying to fix the hesitation off idle. I'm getting a backfire through the carburetor. We're going to be changing out the fuel bowl gasket today. You know, in the previous video, you saw we had an issue with it here. So we're actually going to be replacing it with a new one that is not broken to hopefully fix our problem with the accelerator pump uh, not giving enough fuel. So if you followed along in the previous videos, you saw that the accelerator pump nozzle is still squirting a weak uh, burst of fuel on the primary. We've changed out the accelerator pump nozzle. We've changed out the accelerator pump cam. Still not fixing it. So down to here. I'm hoping that this is the problem and that this is going to be the solution to it. All right, let's go ahead and take this fuel bowl off. Still loose from last time. Okay. While I have it apart, I might as well check and replace the accelerator pump. Make sure nothing's leaking in there. All right, four Phillips heads. So you're typically going to replace this if you see some leakage around here for fuel. Um, ooh, a little bit of fuel in there. You can see for mine there's a check valve there, spring, and a rubber gasket. So I'm going to take this apart, take a look at this. You know I do have a spare one, so I'll probably end up just putting a spare in. Pumping okay. So it does line up. So take a quick look. How this is going to go together. Accelerator pump hole is going to be right here. Looks to be good. So we'll get that back in there. Probably makes sense to do the bottom screws first since they're captive in the gasket. Um, you can see the accelerator pump hole here, it's not covered. We'll have to be careful here and just check for fuel leaks, but don't want to start up top because the gasket could slide upwards and get crushed again. Um, yeah, let's start with the bottom and try putting it together. Each one of these is going to have a washer on it. These ones are still in place, so make sure you don't lose this or you're going to, you could have a fuel leak. I like to go in a cross pattern just to make sure nothing gets bent. Okay. 
All right, let's get this back on. All right, so the places I'm going to check for a few weeks are around the bowl itself, down here where I screwed that back in, and on the accelerator pump. After you have it back together, you want to make sure that the accelerator pump arm is sitting on the... Yeah, so you want to make sure you don't have too much preload on this. Um, I'll have to back this screw out some. So see where it comes up to neutral. That's not bad. Alright, so after that I'll take a look at the fuel level. You can see the fuel level is about right, maybe it's a little bit high. So it's a little bit high in the back in the front. Um, checking it for fuel leaks doesn't appear to be any. Try under there. Try there, try there. All right, let's do a quick check of the accelerator pump nozzle. It's hard to see in there, but you can see that it's a steady stream, which is much better than what I've had before. All right, so the car is back together. Carburetor is looking good. Everything seems to be working correctly. Unfortunately, if you can hear the raindrops behind us, we have some snow right now that's melting. I'm not gonna get to take it on the road today. But hopefully midweek it's gonna hit the 60s again we'll take it out for a cruise then and do a quick test and tune thanks for joining in see you later